guys, Tash here. Charlotte's also here. Hello. Pardon me, I just burped. <laughs> I have an excuse for burping just then. We've just done a taste test on some of the drinks chocolate. and stuff. Yeah, Charlotte's eating Easter chocolate. It's too early for Easter. <laughs> yeah. But um, as you can see, uh, a figure came in the post today. It does not want to focus on this box. Come on, Boxy. There we go. Sorry, the lines are not as good today because it's been raining and so it's miserable outside. It's a joke. I don't like it. But, um, so yeah, we could have any of these, but probably getting by the thumbnail, you probably know. Woo! It's Koala! We have one piece. I was expecting to get this, like, in two more weeks, but it came today. I was like, yay! I thought it was my leggings in the post that I'd ordered, but no! But in this um, set, Flames of the Evolution, it's kind of what's going on now in the anime. <laughs> my canvas is not going to focus today, sorry people. But um, as you can see, in this set, you get Ace, which is kind of weird, but yeah, it's because he's to do with this whole sort of thing. Koala, Sabo, and Sugar. And I really love the Sugar one, and I want it. It like, looks like she's still on a pudding. But um, when we got Koala, we'll get Sabo eventually. She is wearing Sabo's hat. But the box is already open. It was already open when I got it. Because they've taken it out. But Because uh, it was like packed. Bit, like where it folds up and then they just fold all the box up and stuff. I kind of know when that happens. Because she likes opening the box. But So here we have Koala. Suffocated. <laughs> In a bag. That's how it's I'm not murderers, they're murderers. Let's just open it. I need to use my teeth because I forgot the scissors. But here she is. Lay her on the floor. On the, well, not on the floor, it's on the shelf. That's what I'm talking about. Get the stand out. And that and that. And so here we have Koala, if it wants to focus on her again. Uh, this is a Bandai one, as you can see. Yeah. And um, as you, as I said, it's from the What's Going Off Now, the arc with um, War and Dolphamingo and all that crap. <laughs> now, but um, I'm liking this arc at the moment. There's a few characters that I got. I have got one from this sort of arc, which is. Um, Cavandish, which I got from um, Manchester Comic Con last year. God, that seemed a very long time ago. So we're getting because it doesn't seem that long ago when it all the whole arc started, but it was last year in July, and Cavendish was already well, announced by then. Yeah, it's uh, longer than the Fishman arc, really. Yeah. But as looking at her, she seems pretty good. Like the painting's good on her and stuff. And in fact, she she doesn't seem. The only one thing I've seen is a bit on her arm where like there's a mark just on her arm, like right there. But other than that, she's pretty much fine. Like there's no other problem. Oh, there, scratched a bit, maybe due to transport or when it's been in the factory, but. You could probably cover up that with a bit of black pen. But other than that, she seems pretty fine with the paint work and everything else. Like, because sometimes you do get bits where it's like stray bits and all that sometimes. And sometimes a lot more scratches wouldn't have been in the post. But um, especially with these, because sometimes they're not very well packed, to be honest. And she wasn't very well packed. There were no padding whatsoever. And they're just like flat in the box. That's why I prefer them when they bring them just in the box because at least the box has got protection. But they fingered the box up and, and just had this straight out so she's vulnerable to damage basically. But luckily she hasn't got damaged. These just look like paint jobs really, what's been done. But um, she's a nice figurine. I like Koala. Although we haven't really seen much of her, we're going to get see more of her coming up in the arcs and stuff. We obviously got her background story which is really sad and stuff. I love her hat. I want her hat with the goggles on. <laughs> but um, but yeah, this will be going up on the shelf with Cavandish and I'm hoping to get Sabo or maybe Sugar because I really want Sugar. I really like her. She's my favourite out of all the Dolphamingo crew. I don't like any of the others really. 
Well, I do, but I don't. <laughs> uh, I just like her because she's like cute, basically, and I, I like her devil fruit powers and all that. Let's just I try and see if we can get her on I this know, stand. Is fruit power, isn't it? Yeah. We well, want the hobby hobby fruit. Get people to toys. I might even put in this on right. So, we've got her on the stand now. She's kind of one of the most annoying stands to get on because. It has this bit and they're usually what you put around the stomachs but it's not high enough up so it goes round the leg but it her leg doesn't really fit but it stays on pretty well, her feet went on well which was always a struggle with me <laughs> just like getting to actually get the legs into the like little stubby bits and to hold them up but uh so yeah let's go put her on the shelf.